month. And uh, we have Fatima Model Soul here from our uh, health services department. And I see we have a number of young people, and I want to thank you for taking... Alcohol Abuse Awareness Month, right? Alcohol Awareness, not... Oh, oh Alcohol uh, Abuse Awareness Month? It says Alcohol Awareness. We want to be aware of alcohol and its various impacts it's on all the advertising. We're generally pretty aware of alcohol, right? <laughs> the alcohol abuse. <laughs> well, <laughs> and, and I see yeah. uh, those in the, our, audi- <laughs> our audience can't see the cans that are being held up by some of our young people. So, again, uh, I don't know if you're on spring break or if you've taken time out from your studies. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, and I was watching you in, in the previous presentation, and, and we're really speaking to all of you because we want you to be safe in our community, not only from alcohol abuse, but from sexual assault. So, Fatima? Good morning, Madam Chair, Board of Supervisors. Uh, my name is Fatima Matasol. I'm a program manager with Behavioral Health Division, Alcohol and Other Drug Services. And one of my responsibilities is alcohol and drugs prevention. And... Um, Today, on the occasion of declaring uh, April as Alcohol Awareness Month, we are here to talk to you about a very interesting product, which is called Alcopops. And you're right, um, Supervisor Mitchell, um, we heard about that product already. Um, Last uh, year, we participated in a statewide campaign called Healthy Retailers, Healthy Communities, um, which was a statewide campaign. And we went out into the retail environment and we looked at all the products in terms of alcohol, tobacco, and nutrition, along with our public health department. Uh, What we learned was that 85% of the stores that were surveyed were selling alcohols. I'm going to, it's called Alco Pops. Alco Pops. And I will let the young people tell you a little bit more about that because what you want to know is that before the campaign even started, in our own backyard, in the communities of Bay Point, in the communities of the Monument Corridor, in the communities of San Pablo and Richmond, um, we were all looking about Alcopops. We wanted to understand more about this very attractive product. Um, And so today, I am joined by members of the Bay Point Middle School Riverview um, in Bay Point, uh, the East County Alcohol Policy Working Group in Pittsburgh, the Monument Corridor, El Puente students, students at Ignacio Valley High School. Uh, our Alcohol and Other Drugs Advisory Board, our chair is here, and Catherine Webster, our vice chair, is here too. And then um, West County Alcohol Policy Working Group. And we are here to talk to you about, about Alcopops. Um, what we know is that the rate for Contra Costa County for past 30 days use of alcohol is a little slighter Uh, higher than the state level rate. We also know that alcohol is very easily accessible. And what makes our job particularly challenging is the type of products that the alcohol industry is constantly sending out into the retail environment, one of which is Alcopops. And without further ado, I would like to introduce Lori Quesada and Javier Quesada of Bay Point Riverview Middle School. Um, Fatima, but, and they, if, if, I don't mean to steal their thunder, but could you tell us what the percentage of alcohol is in those drinks or, and, and, or someone uh, as we make this presentation? I will do that. Thank you. Okay, Good morning. My name is Lori Casada. I am a Go ahead and pull it up to you. It, it, it's there you go. Thank you. I am a member of the Riverview Middle School Club Live Chapter in Bay Point, California, and I am 12 years old. I want to thank you today for acknowledging alcohol as a problem in our county and for taking a stand on Alcopops. My Club Live Chapter has been working on understanding the issue of Alcopops in our community through store assessments, peer surveys, and one-on-one interviews that we personally have conducted. We will be hosting a community town hall where we will inform Bay Point parents about Alcopops and how to identify one. This issue is particularly important to me because as a young female in Bay Point, I can see the issue that stems from alcohol use and know that by reducing underage drinking and eliminating Alcopops, I can help improve my community. According to the American Medical Association, One-third of teen girls report having tried Alcopops, and one out of six has done so in the past six months. Alcopops are considered to be a girly drink. As a young female, I can see the appeal of this product. 
It is time to recognize the danger of making alcohol and appealing, especially to girls like me. That's why I'm taking a stand and have organized the Stop the Alka Pop campaign, a slogan I created because it is time to stand up against Alka Pops. Thank you. Thank you, and I must uh, compliment you. At 12 years old, you're very uh, poised, and uh, we appreciate you coming, as well as those of you who will follow. Good morning. My name is Javier Casada, and I am also a member of the Riverview Middle School Club Live Chapter, and I am 12 years old also. Research tells us that alcohol increases crime, injuries, automobile accidents, homicide, suicide, community blight, and the list goes on. This product is an alcoholic beverage, um, um, but what's so dangerous about this product is that it has almost five servings of alcohol. That's equivalent to almost five beers, five glasses of wine, or five shots of liquor. I like to call it binge drinking in a can because when purchased by any age consumer, it can be consumed responsibly. The American Medical Association estimates that about 10% of all minors are believed to account for about 10% of all alcohol in the United States is purchased by underage drinkers. Minors are also believed to account for about $10 billion in sales annually. It is time to reduce these st statistics, and I know that by eliminating alcohol pops, I will not only reduce underage drinking, but uh, by making Bay Point a better place for me to grow up. Thank you so much for recognizing this issue, and I hope that you too will join the campaign to stop the alcohol pop. Thank you, and I, again, I, just as you were speaking, and, and I, I know Supervisor Glover wants to speak because he represents the Bay Point community, but um, underage people aren't supposed to be able to go in and buy these, but yet they're marketing them to, to you. Uh, and again, these are very attractive and pretty cans. Uh, when you said there were five servings of alcohol in there, um, you know, I, I'm assuming they market that as, as a single serving to someone because we've all bought the big, you know, different types of, of soft drinks with no alcohol. And it's just amazing that there are five servings of alcohol in each of those. So, uh, Supervisor Glover. Thank you. I just wanted to commend our young folks for once again stepping up to the plate. We know that they've taken on a number of initiatives, and it's just great to see that they've taken this one on. Um, I do want to say that, um, again, we're, we're going to talk about these things. The Youth Summit is going to be on May uh, 3rd, and again, it's about how to survive being a teenager. Um, there will be a workshop that will deal with this particular issue, so I want to once again encourage you young folks to come out and the parents to accompany um, if you wish. Um, there's, you don't have to, but... Certainly, uh, we want our young folks to be there because we want to talk about it. Uh, I'm going to come down by myself uh, just because there's so many of you, and you're more important in the picture, unless my colleagues would like to. Mr. Joya. I was going to say, you know, I, youth really are the best messengers on this. You know, we often think adults can be good messengers on things, but this is clearly your peer-to-peer, student-to-student, friend-to-friend message is really important. So thanks for being here. I have a daughter who will be 10 very soon. And, um, you know, it's amazing as the, av the advertising barrage that we see um, that's often very subtle but very direct um, for um, younger children. And I, I think it's, it's shameful what happens. And um, it's unfortunately, our, uh, you know, the, the, the marketing system that we have in this country. And so... For you to be able to, you know, pass this message along with your friends means a lot. You are all leaders by being here today. Thanks. Turn around. You have that photo op. Hold your, no, no, don't sit down. Come on back. I want one of you to hold this and hold up your can. 